So we all have our lowest standard of games. We all do, no matter no matter if you if you play only AAA games from the highest of the high to the one indie game that you kind of enjoy and you don't want nobody to know to people that play games that are just like made by the worst of the worst people and then there's there's these there's these games that sit in the middle of good and horrible and the studios that make them have been around for a while and they just float around the studio making games somehow and they just keep going so what i'm getting at is Elix. Y'all remember Elix, right? Y'all probably don't. Why? Because the game was fucking trash. It's getting a fucking sequel. And the game was trash. I remember the game vividly being the some of the worst shit I ever felt on the controller. It was bad, bro. And they're getting a second game. And I'm like, how the fuck did they get away with this? How the fuck did they get away with this? Because it's so... It, there's not many studios like this, but I swear they're like double B studios. Cause you see, they'd be like, Oh, double A studio, stuff like that. No, they're double B studios and Piranha Byte is like a, like a B studio. Cause they are get, they never got better. So like there's games that came out. We're about to watch the trailer though, but Nacon, some of the worst feeling games you ever played. Have you played werewolf? The freaking, ah, uh, fucking werewolf, bro. That shit was trash. After I played Vampire, I wanted to play that Werewolf game that was coming out. Werewolf Earth Blood, bro. And that shit was mid tier garbage, bro. It was some of the. It feels so bad to play. And it's like, ah. It's, it's bad. Piranha Bites the same fucking way. They make these games, the concepts sound great. But then you, you play the game and it feels like you're moving at 15 frames per second. And the combat is this, oh, it's just garbage, bro. You about to see, and the, oh my god. But then like, Spiders was the same way. You remember Spiders? Like, they're they're probably the lowest tier studio that I really fuck with. Like, there's there's studios that do shit. Spiders is one of them. They're the only one out of the three I just named that are fucking improving. From Bound by Flame. Which was alright, it felt clunky as fuck to play, but the concept was kind of cool. To Technomancer, they started getting better at, like, the the combat thing. Adding diversity to the combat. Adding things to the combat that made, the, made it feel better to move around, to dodge, to attack. And then Griefall came out, and they got even fucking better. The combat got better. The games got better. Everything got better about what they're doing, and now they're making another game. But then Piranha Bite comes with Elix 2. And exactly more of the same trash. They haven't improved at all. And that's why we're about to watch the trailer. And y'all about to see what I mean. Hold on. Hit this play button, bro. 17 and up. That's fine. I like M-rated games. But first looking at it. Look at the quality of... Oh my oh, gosh, bro. The invaders arrived. Started taking over the world. Transforming it. Something's not right, I feel... I feel weak. Kirk's model still, still looks hurt. like it was made on a fucking 360. The world looked like it was made on a 360. I'm like, Piranha Bite has not gotten better. And look at this combat, bro. And they're showing this shit in a trailer. What the fuck was that? Look at these attacks, bro. Oh my gosh. Like, this was the best of the best footage they could get. Look at this shit, bro. <laughs> you can't even make this up, bro. They're, this is what they're showing in their trailer, bro. Look at that fucking combat. And this is supposed to hype up your second game. It didn't improve at all from the first one. It didn't improve not a single bit from the first one, bro. What the fuck is... How is Piranha Bite still alive? THQ Nordic, gut them or something, bro. You stop letting them spend y'all money, bro. THQ Nordic, stop letting them spend y'all money. Because this shit is garbage. Everything in that trailer looked hot garbage. All the cop... Oh my god, bro. They added more things. They added, like, bows and guns. I think they kind of had those in the other one. But melee combat looks like complete shit. I mean, gun combat looks kind of wonky, too. Maybe because... 
the way the camera was when he was aiming the gun because it's third person, but it looks kind of weird third person. Could have just been the camera angle they chose. But then, like, no. No, Piranha Bite hasn't improved from the last game. And they still fucking sell the last game full price 90% of the time. Ain't nobody buying this shit, bro. It's trash. And the community that around this game, they defend it. And I see, like, people defend bugs in Bethesda games. People defend pop-in and, and freaking and, and newer games that's supposed to be running at high performance. Like, some people even defend the fucking, the, the port for Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC. Like, people defend those things. Like, those things can improve and get better. The whole fucking game, the core of the game is so bad that everything they build around it is just going to be trash too. And there's nothing you can defend about Elix, bro. If you can't, let me know down below. Let me know your argument of why Elix can be a good game because this shit is fucking trash. But that's all I got for you today. So let, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, you're new. Bro, somebody get this game canceled, please. <laughs> but no, no, no. No, let them do their thing. It's still trash, though. And I'll see y'all in the next video.